Welcome to Mini Stories, where we will be listening to Reddit stories. How do I, 38 male, reassure my wife, 34 female, that I'm not having an affair with my assistant, 24 female, at work? So about six months ago, I got a promotion at my job, and with the promotion, I also got an assistant who I'll call Marcy. When I mentioned to my wife, who I'll call Emma, that I was getting an assistant she did make a couple of jokes about. Sleeping with my secretary, but I didn't think anything about it at the time. Looking back I'm thinking that she was actually being serious and was already suspicious from the start just of the whole concept. But what happened to make me make this post is that over the last few weeks I noticed Emma acting like she had a problem with Marcy. If I talked about my day at work and I mentioned Marcy's name, Emma rolled her eyes or made a snarky comment. I stopped mentioning Marcy, but then Emma would ask about her specifically and still have some rude little comment to make. So finally, I asked Emma if something had happened. I was thinking that maybe she had called for me and Marcy had been short with her on the phone or something. Instead, Emma brought up a random Friday back in January when she stopped by wanting to surprise me by taking me out to lunch and caught me having lunch with Marcy. So to explain, Marcy and I have a weekly meeting on Fridays where we go over our projects and whatnot for the week. And during these meetings, we order lunch and eat in my office. To me this seems completely normal and professional, but Emma thought it signified that we're having an affair. I tried to explain to Emma that I don't follow this logic, but she just kept saying that it obviously looked suspicious and then she brought up another time when I was late coming home and didn't have a good excuse as to why not. I don't even remember the night that she's talking about. I can only assume I was late because of traffic or something like that because I certainly wasn't cheating on her or doing anything else nefarious. But what can I do to reassure Emma that her concerns are unfounded? We've been together for four years, married for 1.5 years, and I've never cheated on her or done anything to make her think I was untrustworthy. I have no idea how to reason with her here because from what I can see she's basing all of this on the fact that she just doesn't like me having a female assistant. And I don't want to fire Marcy or anything like that just to make Emma feel better because she's good at her job and hasn't done anything wrong either. Update. Hello, everyone. I have an update on the situation with my wife. After I posted and read everyone's advice, it really just solidified my worry that I couldn't do anything to reason with my wife because her concerns were unreasonable in the first place. Everything I could think of or that someone suggested to prove to her that I wasn't having an affair with Marcy or anyone was either something I'd already told my wife or something that, the more I thought about it, I didn't feel it was fair that I should have to convince her of at this point in our relationship. So instead, I sat down with her and just explained to her how hurt it made me feel that she didn't trust me. After four years together where I'd never done anything to make her doubt me, and that it wasn't fair for me to be on trial when I hadn't done anything wrong and she didn't have any good reason to think that I had. And then I asked her if she really honestly thought I was cheating on her, or if there was something else going on that she wasn't telling me about. She got really upset by the last part because she thought I was accusing her of cheating, which turned the conversation into a fight, but then afterwards she at least finally understood how I felt. And then after that she apologized and actually started talking to me about what's been going on in her head lately. So long story short, there were really three factors that were making my wife insecure about my working relationship with Marcy, some of which were things that commenters on my first post guessed correctly, and none of them were really things that had anything to do directly with our relationship. First, one of my wife's good friends got divorced last year, which I knew about, but I didn't know any of the details as to what happened. My wife told me that the cause was her husband having an affair with the co-worker that he told his wife not to worry about. Apparently supporting her friend through that situation was feeding into my wife's insecurities about me having a new assistant. She actually admitted that part of the reason she decided to stop by my office that one time was also because she wanted an excuse to get a look at Marcy and that was why she got so angry about us having lunch together. Second, my wife says that after switching to the new gym she feels more insecure about her body slash looks than she ever used to because she's the least fit person in all of her classes now. I did suggest that she should go back to her old gym where she feels more comfortable, but she says she'd rather power through until she can catch up to everyone at the new gym and I'm just going to let her do what she wants on this one. Third, apparently my wife had been having weird menstrual symptoms for the past few months, but she didn't think it was anything to be worried about. I got her to go to the doctor and it turns out she's starting menopause. She agreed that her hormones being out of whack is likely a big part of why she got so unreasonably upset about all this. 
So after we talked my wife said she'd stop bringing up Marcy and so far she hasn't mentioned it again. And then after she saw her doctor she also started a mild antidepressant that's supposed to help with the emotional symptoms of menopause. But it's only been a couple of weeks so I'm not sure if I've noticed any effect yet. But we're past the original issue. It seems like it was a lot less to do with my wife not trusting me and a lot more to do with just a bunch of internal stressors. That she was dealing with that happened to result in her getting fixated on this one issue. Thanks for watching. If you like this video like, comment, share, and subscribe.